Pay attention, Brian. Today I'm gonna to show you how we built this modern looking privacy fence by Nutrend. I'm gonna take you through step by step exactly how it's done so you can do it too. Step one, you wanna establish where your property line is so you know where your posts are going. You can either use a survey, which is what I would highly recommend, or you can do it exactly the same as your existing fence was. Just make sure you consult with your neighbor before you accidentally encroach on someone else's property. Step two, you need to establish how many sections of fence you're going to need. In this system, we do six foot on center. So, we're gonna take our total measurement of each run and divide that by six. That number, you're going to round up. That's gonna give you the total amount of sections you need. Then you're gonna divide that number by your total run again, and that'll give you the number for each individual section. That's where you wanna mark out where all your posts are gonna go along the property line. We like to mark the ground with orange marking paint so we know where auger's going to dig. You could also dig with a clam shovel. In our case, in Ontario, we wanna go below the frost line, and we're going four feet deep to make that happen. Once all the holes are dug, it's time to set the posts. We set the posts with pre-mixed wet concrete to act as a foundation so we don't have any wobble or movement in the posts in the future. We set our mason line from end post to end post, and then we set all of our line posts right just kissing that line on the measurement marks we have made. Make sure when you're pouring your concrete, you keep a level on your post to ensure that it's plumb and touching the line. You wanna leave your posts high for now. Don't cut them to size just yet, and we'll show you later. To allow for expansion and contraction, you wanna cut all of your individual boards exactly one inch less than your inside to inside measurement. So what I do is I set a string line at the top of my channel on the first section to the top of my channel on the last section, provided we're not stepping any sections, and then I use that string to mark where each individual channel is going to go. And I'll use that string as a guide to ensure that all of my channels are the exact same height and level across. Now it's time to install the side channels. First we want to install one of the vinyl blocks that the system comes with at the very bottom of the channel on each channel. I like to put the channels in with a drywall gun and some self-tapping screws. You could use an impact or a regular drill, that's up to you. Once all the channels are in and the vinyl blocks are in the bottom of each channel, it's time to start assembling. This is the easy part. One board at a time, you want to make sure your tongue is up and the groove is down for each board. In our case, as we got close to the top, we decided to put a gray board in to break up the monotony and kind of give it a bit of a design flair. Once we got to the top of the vinyl boards, we decided to use a tongue and groove aluminum board that Nutrend did supply us with. Once all the boards are on, this is the part where we cut our top channel, and we want to cut this exactly the same as the inside to inside measurement at the bottom of your post. Just in case there is any movement, or any of your posts are slightly off plumb, you don't want to measure the top, you want to measure the bottom and cut to that. Now we go to put our channel in. This channel slips over the two side channels and everything else. If there is a gap, it tells you you have to bring your posts in or one of your posts are off plumb. Now we take two self-tapping screws, one in each corner. You go through the side channel, the top channel, and the aluminum board on both sides, and that locks the entire system in. Next, you want to choose how high you want your post caps to be. In our case, our rule of thumb is two inches above. You want to use a circular saw with a steel cutting blade. We find that's the easiest way to do it. Then you top it with a post cap and that's it. 